Let me just drop the knowledge nugget for you guys. If you're on an alien planet and one of them offers a brain excavation, just do it. Just do it. Because you may not think that it's that great of an idea. Look, first aid. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff with bags playing some no man's sky peeps Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day and we're back doing stuff and things You know guys, I've been having so much fun playing this game A lot of people say it's a terrible grinding game. I like it. I'm having a really good time and I would appreciate all you guys coming to hang out and watch make sure if you guys like this stuff Don't forget smash that thumbs up button and show your support peeps And if you're new and you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well so in the last episode, we hyper space warped all the way to the new system that is called the Watch China Lord of Something system. And we made lots of money and we shopped and we bought the Boson Triple S96 Space Flamingo and our new ship. It's so amazing. And I've been having a great time exploring this new planet. There's a couple of new planets here. The first thing's first. Let's go ahead and get some naming stuff and things going on. People who are following and leaving kind comments and stuff and things on Twitter. So first of all, the Wootsie Galaxy. This guy Wootsie has been liking my videos on Twitter for such a very long time. I wanted to go ahead and recognize him. Um, so thank you so much for that. And then we have another planet here. Oh, that this one. I'm going to show you all about this planet. I'll give you a little bit of a guess what's on here. But the, this uh, guy over here I saw yesterday was leaving some really nice comments on Twitter. And it was Mason Barrett Payne. We're going to call this galaxy, or this planet, Payne. The Payne Galaxy. So on this planet that we're on now, I haven't really discovered a whole heck of a lot of other stuff and things. So we may have to wait to name any more stuff until we go over 7,000 units. Space box, 7,000 space box. We may have to wait till we go to the gold planet to do some other naming of the stuff and things. But um, So I've been doing a little bit of off-camera stuff. Let's go ahead and show you. I got 1.3 million space bucks right now. This is our, our inventory now. 31 slots total and 24 slots on our ship. And on our ship, I've just been keeping like a little bit of zinc, a little bit of iron, a little bit of titanium, some plutonium, some thomium, some copper, some nickel. Just some stuff and things in case we ever need to build anything. Let me see if I did anything else really. Oh, I built this uh, life support module Sigma to give us increased available, available energy when using life support. So we have to charge our life support up a little bit less. Um, yeah, so anywho, so, all right, let's head inside of here because there's something special inside of here. All right, y'all, there is a new gun. Oh, you know what's so weird about this? Yesterday, when I came in here to look at this gun, it was a different, or it's not a gun, but you know what I mean, multi-tool. Yesterday, when I came in, it was different. That's weird, and then I saved the game and came back out, and now it looks different. Let's see how many slots we've got. So it's a 10-slot multi-tool. How many slots do I have right now? Eight? Eight slot multi-tool, so it's a little bit better of a, of a multi-tool. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pick this up. Let's just double check and see how much money does it cost. It's only 66,000 units. So let's go ahead in here and let's break down some of these guys. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and grab our new multi-tool. And we have the scanner. It's obviously got mining beam. It's got range boost towel, which I'll probably pull off of there. And it has the visor. So it has all the stuff and things we need. And it's not Christmas colored. Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. It actually looks cool. So um, do we have anything in my inventory to sell right now? I do have a bunch of stuff in here. We have a power canister. Some heridium, some chrysonite. Actually, how's our chrysonite situation on the ship? Let's go ahead and... We'll transfer this over. I think the heridium we already have enough of. We can move over some copper because we find that so rarely. And then titanium, we have a lot. Iron, we have a lot. Zinc, we don't have that much. All right, I'm going to sell some stuff. All right, sell items in inventory. 5,000 units, 150,000 units, 2,000, 20 grand. Power canister, we're just going to get rid of. Let's see here. Plutonium, I don't need to sell it all. Actually, this planet's pretty rich in plutonium. I'll probably sell all this. The heridium we'll get rid of. The iron we will get rid of. We'll just get rid of everything. So is there anything at this place that he's buying? No. Nothing's got a star on it down here on the planet. All right. So 
Oh, that's not the right door. This is the right door. So over here, let's take a look at our new multi-tool here real quick and see the stuff and things we need to build on it. So the range boost towel, this thing, first of all, I don't really want this. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really want it. So I'm going to break that down. So the scanner and the analysis visor being next to each other actually make it so that you get a better, like it's... Yeah, you get a bonus from this. That's interesting. So, and then the beam intensifiers are getting bonuses as well. That's really weird. I thought these had to touch the mining beam in order to get that bonus. So we have the beam intensifier town, mining beam laser, strengthened speed up terrain destruction, strengthened to speed up terrain destruction. Now, let's see here. Can I build? Oh, you know what? I probably want to build the bolt caster. And then we want to build the wide shot adapter. All right. So the next thing... Let's see here. Do we have anything for mining that we don't already have? Further increased damage to mining during laser combat, which I don't want. I don't want. We're not going to do that. That's the combat amplifier tau again. This guy we've already got. No, that's the beam coolant system. The beam intensifier plus three we have. We need more copper and iridium in order to build that. And then this guy, we need aluminum. See, that's why I'm keeping those things on the ship. So that, you know, because we don't run into a lot of copper or something like that. So when we do, we're able to go ahead and do stuff and things with it. Whoa, 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 boat caster. Calm down, man. So I'm liking the look of this thing. It's not a bad looking gun here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see how you are. No technology. No active technology for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, what is it? The grenade launcher deal. So I'm going to pop over here real quick. And we're going to get some plutonium just to have. This planet, these planets, both of them, that I've discovered in the system, are very rich in plutonium. Now, on this planet here that we're on now, when I first landed, I found some emerald. A huge deposit of emerald. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of it. Not like on the gold planet, which I want to go and show you guys. It is amazing on the gold planet. So, um, let's go ahead inside of here. Into the boson triple. Launch, homie. All right, let's head up into the galaxy universe. Zoom up there, homie. Now let's see if we can't find out where that gold plant's at. All right, here we are. Where's the gold planet? Are you the gold planet? Oh, I can't see it? Hmm. Let's move around here a little bit, and maybe we'll be able to get a bead on this guy and see exactly what planet we are going towards. I don't know if this is the gold planet or not. Show me the readout! A oh, weird game's not showing me the readout of the planet. Well, let's take a look around here and see. Oh, that's so weird. All right, I'm going to find that gold planet. I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. Look, right here. Already. This is it. Land, homie. The gold planet. There is so much gold on this planet, guys. It is unbelievable. There's just so much gold and I'm just rich. I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'm actually not like rich beyond my wildest dreams because it takes a really long time to break all this gold down. Like last yesterday, I grind. I was grinding on this planet for hours, just grinding down gold like this. Um, that's why I really want to find stuff that we can increase our mining speed on our multi-tool. Like, we need to get that. Oh, what is that guy right there? This guy. We need this guy right here, the beam intensifier level 3. I, I don't know, actually. You know what? I've been wondering about this. It says upgrade terrain destruction. I don't know if that's mining speed or terrain destruction. Hmm. <laughs> like, so, I wonder if it means terrain destruction, if it means... Like what I'm doing right now. Which I can only assume is that's what it means. But anywho, so like I was saying, I've been on the planet grabbing unbelievable amounts of gold. Um, there isn't really a whole heck of a lot of other stuff and things around. There's a little bit of zinc. You can see right there. There's some thomium. There's some platinum. What? But pretty much on this planet, there's just gold and lots and lots of it. So, that's kind of what I wanted to do today, is just start getting some mining done. We're also going to follow the storyline a little bit. Um, you guys were telling me a little bit about um, that I have to basically kind of continue on um, on our journey through the galaxy in order to get to kind of like the next things. Like, um, it's kind of weird. I thought the storyline would be a little bit more 
um, linear and locked down, but it seems that in this game, you still kind of like are free to do what you want and the storyline pops up, but it's a little less frequently than I expected. That's why I was kind of like, shouldn't it be like really guiding me towards where I want to go? It's not quite like that, but um, we do have some stuff and things to find right here. There's a couple things on that planet. I can't remember if there's something on this planet. We've got a couple things on this planet too, I think. No, it looks like just on that planet. We got to check out. But for now, Z's, 1.5 million space box. Let's continue to get rich, peeps. And we're back heading to the space station with a big fat load of gold. I didn't fill up my inventory completely. I filled it up a good amount. Uh, but it's been like an hour and a half. Um, and so I figured that was a good enough amount of time. I kind of just wanted to show off how much we can make in an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And it's not like unbelievable money, but it's definitely better than iron money. Let's just get that right out of the way. Also, you guys have been telling me about this in the comment section. I was seeing it in a couple of videos as well. Um, just about a little bit of information. Uh, if you, if you, there's a melee attack button. Oh, I can't melee attack in here. Can I, I can't show you. But if you melee attack and then use your boost, uh, then use your jetpack, it like gives you like a super speed boost, which is pretty great. I'll show it to you later. You'll see it throughout the rest of everything that we do forever and then until the end of time. So let's go inside of here, like a so. Let's see here. Now I did buy um, an inventory slot, one inventory slot. So I don't have as quite as much money as I did. 1.3 million space bucks. This is 750 or 725 million, a thousand space bucks. Oh my gosh. Two million space bucks. Iron, iridium, neutrino module. Is there anything else? We got some plutonium we can offload as well. Oh, we can buy atlas stones here. Wait, 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 wait. We can sell atlas stones for 68,000. How much can we buy atlas stones for? 2.7 million space bucks. Oh my God, that's crazy amount of money. So anyway, now we are up to Two million space bucks, but I gotta show you guys this. Maybe if we can see one while we're here. I saw some ships while I was here. I'll oh, see there aren't any there aren't any over here. I don't know what it was, but since I got this ship, I've been seeing all sorts of other ships around here that are like super amazing. I saw one with like a ton of slots, way more than 25. It was like 30 something slots. Magnate. Two million space bucks. Oh, there's another oh wait, is that a different? It's like a flamingo, but like backwards. It's like the Masa and the Plezi from from Ark, they just made it about the same. It's like a smaller bird, like a flightless bird, perhaps. What kind of uh, slots do you have, super flightless bird? Oh, it's got a little wing ding on the side over there. It's kind of like a little weird mini compressed Millennium Falcon. What do you got over here? 33 slots, 9.8 million space bucks. Oh my God, man. It means we're gonna have to do so much more stuff and things. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into our ship. So just kind of showing you about what's going on here. And as far as, um, getting money like we could stay here and make all the monies but what we've really got to do is we do have a couple of things we've got to check out on this planet here there is a crash ship we found and then the monolith we found but i think this planet is the one that they're trying to send me to to find like the next stuff and things i'm not sure i don't know if i want to leave here yet though there's so much money um, but I'm going to head down to this planet and just check out these two things and see if this is part of the whole Atlas line or if it is not. We will find out in a moment. All right. So one of the two things that I had was this crash ship deal. Let's see here. Zerp! Oh, Perfection. So I'm doubting that this is going to be really worth anything. I'm not sure why it is that I was meant to come here. Oh my gosh. What planet are we on? We're on the pain planet. Doesn't seem to be any sort of like problems with uh, any sort of stuff and things like toxicity or anything like that. What kind of cargo stuff and things do you have for me? A Gecknip? Oh, my favorite. It's a little platinum, plutonium stuff and things. Plutonium stuff and things. Shielding shard. What kind of stuff do you got for me? Damage machinery. Acceleration Theta Fire, are known. Fire Theta, pardon me. We got this guy here, Debris. All right, this might be what we're trying to look for. The high-tech ship's emergency system activates as I climb on board, and a hologram appears before me. The lights in the mask it wears seems wide and dim. The pilot calmly reports news 
of its imminent demise, the noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard. The hologram disappears, leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind. Some of them still look operational. Search for transported goods, search for functioning technology. So this would just be like get stuff and things, and this would be like some tech? Let's go for tech. Search ship carries fascinating technology advances. I scan a blueprint and can now construct one of these advanced myself. Warp Reactor Sigma. Hyperdrive has granted more robust deep space exploration capabilities and ability to leap to stars previously out of reach. We need a dynamic resonator, 200 iridium, which I just sold, and some copper, which I'm super glad that I've been saving up a little bit of. So we've definitely got to look at that in the future. But what do we got here for the ship? Ani? Awi? Wani Nani? What the crap was it called? A Wani Nander? A Wani Wanda! Dia? S76. Perfect. 23 slot ship, nowhere near as amazing as our ship. Eh, it's got a lot of upgrades, but whatever, we don't need this. Plus, it's friggin' pink. We don't like pink. Wait, we have a pink ship. Crap. Alright, so, um, that was awesome that we found that, because that warp stigma, uh, or that warp, uh, upgrade is gonna be um, unbelievable amazing. The other thing that we wanted to go check out was this. Oh, we don't want to do planetary stuff and things. It wants us to go over here. So also a couple of things that I thought were really funny about this game that I don't get. I do not understand why you can't rename your ship. With everything in this game that, you, that you're able to rename, why you can't rename and personalize your ship is beyond me. Um, and then the other thing I was wondering is that you have like, so there's different buttons for like accelerations, right? Three, two, one, zip. So um, Intraplanetary boosters are shift, and then interplanetary boosters are space or A and D, either one. Why there is shift, A and D, and space all as different booster buttons, I don't understand. Whoa. Oh, yeah. So, um, why not just have one button do all of it, just depending on whether you are in the planet or not on the planet? You know what I mean? It kind of doesn't make sense. There's all sorts of different buttons. I guess it's because when you're out in space, yeah, that does make kind of sense. Because then when you're out in space, if you don't want to do like super boost, you just want to do like a halfway boost, uh, you could do that. All right, check this out. Ready? Zoom! You see what we did? It was amazing. Did you see it? We zoomed super fast, guys. So it's like this. You go on zoom. And your gun does a little jig the whole time. It's pretty cool. It's super boosty. Another cool thing that you can do when you're running, if you're running uh, and you start running out of stamina, if you just boost, you'll fly at the same speed that you were running at, and then you'll recharge your stamina. Pretty amazing stuff of things. All right. Oh, I thought that was like gold or something over there. Okay. Knowledge. You know what else I was wondering about? Why do these knowledge stones light up after you discover them? Wouldn't it make more sense if they were lit up before you discover them and went dark after you discover them? I don't know. That's just me. Because then you can, like, see them better. Maybe that's why they did it the other way, so you actually have to search around a bit. So let me see. Any more Knowledge stuff and things around here? I think we got to play with this. Oh, hello, Knowledge Stone. Tell me about stuff. Disruption? Interesting. All right. The Hickoth Mokquizat Sazerac. Brilliant light erupts from the ancient marker. It encircles me, engulfing my mind with the memories and voices of Corvax Echoes. 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 The Atlas interface drift along, alone in an endless world. They are blah, 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 blah. Tell me about the language. Oh, my knowledge of the Corvax increases. Stall. That'd be great in, in case my ship breaks down. So I'm guessing. I guess. Oh, actually, if we walk over here, it'll probably tell me. There we go. Destination reached. So I'm not really sure now as far as like. 50 words learned. Amazing. As far as like where our next step is, what we've got to go to next, uh, just because it seems like we're kind of out of markers on this world. So let me see. Ooh, is that like a sunrise or a moonrise? It's a magical day for moonrise. That is cool looking, man. Is there another moon over there? That is really cool. Oh, no, no, no. That's just one of, like, the orbital marker deals. So, I'm thinking now, I'm just going to kind of wander around a little bit. I'd like to probably, oh, I don't know. I'd like to grab more inventory slots. I mean, you know me and slots, guys. I'm into slots. So, um, 
I might like to just search around on the planet for more inventory slots. Um, we've got the warp drive upgrade. We probably should work on that, to be honest with you. Let's take a look and see here real quick exactly what we needed to build that thing again. We're going to want to put it... Let's take a look at where we're going to want to put it. So we're going to want to put it over here. So I'd have to move platinum. And then in here is what we're going to want to build it. There's the pulse jet sigma. We want this. So we need a dynamic resonator, iridium, and copper. Um, so maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just focus on getting that taken care of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Explore around for some pieces of stuff and things. And see if we can't figure out how to make that warp enhancement device. And we're back. Check this out, guys. A sharp metal needle emerges from the palm of the life form's hand. It moves so fast that it's already inches from my forehead before I can even blink. A strange, toxic-looking goop dribbles down from its point and onto my visor. It hangs in the air above me while the entity waits. Uh, wh why are the entity waits too for the order to plunge it deep into my brain? A brain excavation? Yes, please! I receive a ward. With thanks and incredible pain. New technology. Radiation deflector sigma. Nail the nation can't be stopped. Obviously, you want a brain excavation. Let me just give you a little bit of uh, knowledge right here. Let me just drop the knowledge nugget for you guys. If you're on an alien planet and one of them offers a brain excavation, just do it. Just do it. Because you may not think that it's that great of an idea. Look, first aid. Ma health at maximum. Uh, look in the upper left there. First aid doesn't look like the health at maximum. But anyway, you always want a brain excavation, even if it's going to hurt a little bit. I mean, I'm not a brain excavationologist, but I know that much. So let's take a look at this. The image of the observatory form of electronics here flickers, blah, 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 blah. All right. 5336336536533. Yeah, looks good to me. The stars revealed their secret. I've discovered a new world within the infinite void. <laughs> That's the scanner noise. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. What did I discover? Just another ruins on this planet? Oh, it doesn't even say. I think it's in another universe. All right. So let me drop some more of the knowledge on you guys. I found some stuff and things. So what we're trying to do, remember, don't forget. All right. Let's keep it. We'll stay with me here. We're trying to get this guy. So the dynamic resonator, copper and iridium which i found so i found the iridium now we just need to find copper which i can't find anywhere on this planet i don't think there's any copper around here and we need to find the dynamic resonator resonator which i haven't really seen that either so i'm not really sure what we're going to do about this but i figure this is what we're going to try to do right now um you know what let's fly into the uh, <gasps> more oh um, what is that i can't remember hold on we got a bunch of it already I've been gathering up. Emerald, emerald. I've got a, a bunch of emerald I've been gathering up. Oh, gosh. This game is so grindy. But you want it. You want to grind because you want the emerald. Because you want to be rich beyond your wildest dreams. Oh, I also got some more slots, too. I have 34 slots now. Oh, I made a bypass chip and never used it. Well, that's just how it works sometimes. So, um, I want to go into space and see if at the space station we can buy copper. Um, I was kind of looking to see if there was a place around here I could buy and sell. But I haven't found one yet. Uh, but emerald is uh, the richest resource I've found. The emerald, just in case you're unaware, is 275 uh, space bucks per unit. And we get a bunch of units for every one of these emerald balls that are out here. I wonder if it's somehow uh, like named in conjunction with the chef emerald. <laughs> I doubt it. It's probably an actual resource or an actual like uh, thing in the real world that I just don't know about. Because I don't know everything. I'm not everything. Whoa, whoa what the crap is that? Who's where? Who hit me? What? what? Hmm. No idea. What? Someone hit me again. What's hurt me? What the crap? I don't know what's going on. Also, I will tell you this. If there was a laser that is powerful enough to break through a rock... If you shot into space, it would just shoot everywhere. Like, this would just be lasers going into space as far as you could ever see. If this was reality, like, there would be so many people with lasers shooting lasers everywhere into the universe. And they would be hitting random stuff and causing so much havoc. If there are any, like, super advanced scientists out there listening to this right now, don't develop these kind of lasers. Because this could be a really big problem for everyone in the universe. You know what I'm saying? 
It's kind of like uh, Pokemon Go. Like, it seems like a good idea, but at the end of the day, I don't know, man. It's kind of maybe a big problem. I hope it doesn't turn into a big problem. <laughs> so, um, all right. We got to get focused. I'm going to go ahead and get some more Emerald, and then we're going to try to figure out what's going on with our warp stuff and things. We're in space battle. We're in space battle. I got totally squirted out of my hyperspace to get into a space battle. Okay, we're in space battle. There he is. Do you want some of this? Yeah, suck it! I got better at space battling! Oh yeah, you want some? Hold on, where'd you go? Where'd you at? Where you at, Red Arrow? Ha 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 ha! You guys all gave me big thumbs down on the video where I sucked at space battling. You didn't know that I was an amazing space battler. So make sure you thumbs up now. Oh wait, there's stuff and things over here. Milestone acquired. Stuff and things are amazing because you're super space battling spaceman, pirate. Whoa, whoa, where does stuff go? What is this stuff? It's probably like garbage. It's like, you gained some copper. Oh, I wonder if it's copper. Ooh. Okay, we got to try to get... Le Lemium? Gold? Oh, it's not crap. It's amazing. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, we're on our way to the space station to see if we can buy stuff and things. But I can't find it. This is a big alert. Red alert. Red alert. Terrible problem. Let's get out of here. Pulse engine over there. You guys, check this out. I found this guy who buys bypass chips for like super high amounts of money. All it takes is plutonium and iron. It's super easy to make. So I'm just making up a ton of bypass chips. Check this out, man. This is like super amazing way to make money. Just got to make a million of them. Super annoying to do this part. Okay, so we're just going to keep making them. Make it a bypass chip. We're going to make one here. Oh, we're out of stuff. What are we out of? Iron? Uh... So we go like this. X, 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 X. Oh, wait. Uh, stupid. Over here. Oh, is that all that? We're out of iron. All right. Anyway. All right. So we're out of iron. But we got to, like, see if we can do this again. This is, like, super great. I wish these menus, you could bypass this. This takes a really long time. All right. So I'm, sorry, I'm so excited. Look. 100 grand we just made. Like, instantly. And all it takes is, like, it's so cheap. What? Plutonium and iron? That's it? Right? Yeah, just plutonium and iron. Oh my god, that's a good way to make monies. 2.466 million space bucks. I'm just trying to buy up some copper here because I bought the dynamic resonator and I have the iridium that we need in order to build uh, the warp thingy doodler. So I'm just trying to figure out, find guys that sell copper because I haven't found any copper in the solar system. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with it. But I just wanted to show you that amazing thing. I don't think any of these guys sell copper, which is a terrible problem. Uh, zinc, iridium, chrysanite, plutonium, power, gecknip, vortex cubes, so no copper anywhere. But we're going to find copper eventually. But that was an amazing thing. We made so much money. And we're back. So I decided to look for copper up here. There's iron. Oh, we can use bypass chips. But I found this thing, guys, I've never seen before. What the crap is this, man? It was just like an emerald node then, I guess. That isn't that exciting. There's a bunch of them, though. Whoa, 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 whoa! And we're back. We see... I've been on the hunt for copper, right? Because this is what we're trying to do, if you remember. Let me just bring you back up to speed here. We're trying to craft... Wait, no. One of these? Wait, whoa. In my ship. Hold on. Let me show you. Here it is. We're trying to craft... This guy right here. The warp reactor sigma, right? So we have the dynamic resonator. I have the iridium. I thought, oh crap, did I sell the iridium? Oh, I accidentally sold the iridium. Well, that's fine. I can get more iridium. That's not pro not a problem. There's actually iridium right over here, to be honest with you. So I can make the iridium. But the problem that I'm having is that I can't find copper. No matter where I am, no matter what I do, I cannot find copper anywhere. I think this is iridium right here. Yes, sweet. So we can just get the iridium that we need again. I'll make sure I stick it inside of the... Uh, storage of the ship and then that won't be a problem moving forward oh i don't know if this will be enough iridium though but there'll be more on this planet so anyway since we can't make iridium or since we can't make the copper or find the copper i've been everywhere i looked on the ship tried to find people that were selling it i went uh all to all three of the planets that we have and i haven't seen any anywhere also i think they changed it so now if you like are mining down underneath the surface like see this stuff it's not actually giving me iridium anymore and that wasn't like that yesterday i think they changed that some for some reason none of this iridium none of this is giving me iridium 
So, um, anywho, so do I have enough iridium now to do anything? No, I'm gonna need a lot more, but we'll switch that over to that inventory. So what I've been doing instead is getting into this stuff, peeps. Check it out. So now, because we haven't made warp cells yet, but we can. You know, I'm probably gonna have to go back to my ship so I have all the uh, stuff and things that I'm gonna need in order to craft this. So let's pop up here, like so. I'm gonna be peeved if we warp to a new area and there's no iridium in it. So, let's get back in our ship. All right, inside of Hyant, like so, what we're going to do is go ahead and craft up suspension fluid. That's going to allow us to craft up electron vapor. That's going to allow us to craft up antimatter because we have heridium and zinc saved up. And then that's going to allow us to make a warp cell, like so. And then we can use this to power up our hyperdrive, like so. So, we have all the stuff and things we need to make hyperdrive fuel. That means that it's time to do stuff and things, peeps. So, what we're going to do... Is head out into the universe here on a hunt for copper. I was really trying to get it done for this episode, but I can't find it in this sector. So, or whatever you want to call it, solar system. So let's come out here. Let's boost out a little bit so we get away from the planet. And then we can just go to our galactical map right inside of here. Now on our way to the next galaxy, star system, area, place. Ooh, I can't wait to make it there so that we can go ahead and rename it. Oh, we can add a waypoint? Oh, you know what? Let's go back here. Oh, we can't add a waypoint. Hmm. I was going to add a waypoint to the Wootsie Galaxy because that's where the gold is in case we want to come back there to make money. I really didn't want to leave this place because I want to make money. But we're going to have to. We have to find copper, peeps. So, warp speed ahead to the Wajal Hackle Galaxy Solar System place. That's going to be it for today, peeps. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.